Hello everyone and welcome to week 7 of Season 6 Shipyard Champions. Today is day 4 of the Admiral Olympics and we are growing closer to the end. There are only going to be 5 days in total, obviously ending off with the day 5 being battleships. But to, for now, we are doing uh, battle cruisers. I don't know why that says heavy cruiser. I should probably... <laughs> should have changed that. Whoops. That's supposed to be battle cruiser. Uh, 1, 2, 3 ships, 1940. Uh, here's the, the settings. Basically, uh, must have a total of 12 billion dollars. And uh, opponent's choice for certain conditions and same scoring thing. So I got stealth again. I don't know if you can tell. Yep, I got stealth. So, and that is me. I know I have recording mode on, so it's a little bit annoying. So we have in number first place, we have Polywhirl and Panzergraph. This is Polywhirl, right? Yes, Polywhirl and Panzergraph. And then me versus stealth in second division and third division with Lost Galaxy Gamer, Pawn Iron Wolf. And Yulari. Sorry, what did I say Pine Wolf? I said it was Poly World versus Panzergraph up here. So, uh, we don't have to worry about any of this because we only have one other person in our division and that is stuff. So let's go ahead and show you the battleship that I have. It should be in shared designs. Let's see. It was a... No, Japanese. Japanese battle cruiser 1940. See if we can get there pretty fast, or if the game's gonna lag before I can get there. 1930, 1935, and boom, Congo. This is my beautiful ship. We have a whole bunch of Mark V 13.6 inch guns. Why these? Well, because they are the only Mark V guns. If you go to 14 inch, they become Mark IVs. And also, if you look at the penetration, at least on these, let's just say 20 kilometers, 19 inch of pen compared to 16 inches. Let's just say uh, duels again, 20 kilometers, 20 inch, so like one extra inch for a way slower reload. So I think these are probably way better range. It's decent. It's pretty good. Like you can see the drop off in range like 13s. We have 40, like 42, then a 14, we have 30 and then 28. So pretty big drop. -off. So I thought it was pretty worth to go with the 13s. Make them a little bit bigger for a little bit more damage. Gave them a whole bunch of uh, barrel length, only 12%. Give them a bunch of what are these guns? Eight, eight secondary guns, and they do fire pretty far. Yeah, 27, 23 ish knots, something like that. And uh yeah, there's just a really good ship overall. Not a lot of secondaries besides these eights, though, right? Uh yeah, it's just the eights, no torpedoes, no nothing, just these guns. I did like this because I gave this ship a pretty decent amount of speed, 30 knots. So anything that goes slower than this will most likely the this ship will run away. I don't know why this ship always runs away. But luckily, I'll have three turrets on the back, so yay! All right, let's go download stealth this ship if I haven't already. All right, so I think if I go to 1940 and I've done everything right, yep, the Bazinga. So there we go. It is a British battle cruiser using the G3 battle cruiser hull, uh, not the super cruiser. Guess that makes sense. I believe he gets three of these, which does make sense. He's under four bill. So uh, let's see, what is he rocking? Pricing with nine inch guns, nine inch long guns, I think, or they might be normal. Nope, nine inch normal guns. What the heck? Why are these 8.9 so large? This makes no sense. He did set the range for 10 kilometers, so I guess it kind of makes sense, but also, what are you gonna pen? What are you going to pen at 10 kilometers? 10 kilometers, you pen 6.8, 7.5 kilometers, you pen 8.2. You pen around 10 inches of armor around 5 kilometers and less, and I don't think I'll be getting that close. How fast are you, by the way? Less fast than me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. This might be beautiful. Insane, insane belt. I think he skimped on the guns, went straight into like belts. No, no, not even belt, just armor in general. Just he went all in on armor. Also, picric acid. Seriously? Picric acid? I mean, it's still not that much of a flash fire chance. Oh, is this an HE build? It's an HE 15 second reload. It's an HE build. Oh no. It should be easy to deal with because now it's 60% casualties, but still that's going to be annoying to deal with. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the sh uh, custom battle. And then let's quickly also switch back into Discord. So here you can see he said clear day 10 kilometers and three ships. And then uh, the mines right below. So I did clear day 20 kilometers through ships. So he'll be facing mine. So go to his video to check out my ship and how it does it has controlled by the AI. So back here now. Let's switch myself to the uh, no sorry the Japanese. It should be right there. Yep. And we're gonna go over here to uh, Britain and get to 1940 at 
10 kilometers with three V3 Battlecruiser combats. And then clear day. And I guess the only thing I have to do is really jump right in. So on him, I believe I have, he has more tonnage by like 10,000 tons. So he technically has more health and he has way more armor. My armor isn't, holy, actually my armor is really good. <laughs> I actually do have really good armor, holy jeez. It's because of my resistance is so high. Uh, I actually might be able to just completely obliterate his HE potential then. Because I mean, 16 inch main belt, yeah, I might be fine. And I went pretty damaging 13.6s. I mean, they still fire 35 seconds. So if I get range with like my, with my gen three radar, I mean, I can just obliterate. So let's see what this is going to be all about. All right. Okay, let's see. These battlecruisers are way larger than mine, but sometimes size doesn't always matter. He's pointing away from me. That's perfect. I want to get range because I have way more range than his guns do. Let's see how many, how much range. Yeah, 24, 23, accurate to about 12 to 15 kilometers. Meanwhile, my guns are accurate anywhere to 25, 30 kilometers. So let's uh, let's go ahead and just start um, turning away. You don't need to fight close range. Also, I think I went full AP build. Did I go full AP build? Let me check. I believe it did. Yeah, max AP. Let's definitely fire AP then. We should be able to penetrate, right? Well, kinda. We'll fire auto, see what happens. We do also have speed. I mean, they've got a reload on us, but that's fine. I'm gonna just immediately turn away. We got more guns on the stern anyway. We're gonna get tight. We're just gonna run away from them right now. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Fire an AP. They're definitely trying to do HE fire build and they're kind of succeeding. This uh, this back one is not doing so good. That is a lot of fire, holy jeez. You need to detach and just turn away. I don't want you dying to fire. Turn the heck away. Okay, while they're targeting that one, let's turn back around. Let's focus this thing. Can I pen this? I surprisingly can. All right, how much penetration do I have at 14, like 15 kilometers? 24 inches. I can pen him so incredibly. Actually, hold on. Do I have it on the right setting? No, I don't. I think it's 163%. Exactly. Okay, now what is my penetration? 22 inches. I still pen him so incredibly easy. Okay, AP. Just obliterate. You're also firing AP. Actually, can my 8-inch guns even pen that? No. No, they cannot. Okay. You are not doing great. You're getting obliterated right now. Hopefully the ricochet is going to help me out a bit. So we've opened up range a little bit, which hopefully means that they're going to stop uh, hitting me as much. They're starting to target the Congo a bit more now. I'm going to detach the Congo, start turning away immediately. Meanwhile, this ship is going to kind of turn back in a little bit. The Maya is like the only one not getting targeted right now. Congo is going to keep kind of turning away. Can we not get any good hits? Hello? Like we should have crazy aim and we should be able to penetrate too. Well, maybe not. No good hits though, and we'll be we'll be rolling in the dough. There we go, that's a flooding hit. What was that, an ammo detonation? I'll take that. Are they gonna run out of shells anytime soon? Yeah, actually potentially. There is a potential for shells to run out. Also, chances are if you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed. So please subscribe, it's free. Helps me out a whole lot. And uh yeah, I appreciate it. And now we've opened up to a range where they can't really touch me anymore. I did do a lot of damage to the um the 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 Hij the Hijiri. Probably how you pronounce it. We're down to not great accuracy now, which isn't amazing. Let's start turning my ships back in now. Can we even pen them at this range? Not really. Not really. Because they have insane armor, we'd have to get closer. What I might do is I might put everything on save. 
and then just let them waste their ammo. Already down to 300 from like what 600 or something. So it's it's looking pretty good. Turn away a little bit. Are they coming towards me? Yes, they are. Okay, that's that's why we're getting a little bit uh, a little dangerous here. Go go ahead and turn away, Congo. I want you in that line of fire. Well, Maya, how are we doing, Maya? I feel like you're firing. Oh, it's the secondaries that are firing at you. Yeah, Congo's still taking some hits. Turn away, get that nice ricochet bonus. The Hiriji, the, the, the Hijiri, sorry. I'm going to continue to target this ship here. Can we just sink one ship, please? Taking out one ship would save me so much effort. So we're on save ammo. And somehow we are still doing surprisingly well. hits why do our why does our accuracy is just garbage despite having like good accuracy values we just have terrible terrible accuracy I get the shift now fair enough on go let's get back in there okay with you Maya we can dictate range or dictate range sorry Oop. just a matter uh I mean they should run out of shells before I run out of shells right but they're firing AP at me right now. That's kind of stupid of you. But if you're gonna fire AP at me, I'm just gonna get real close. Cause you can't pen me, right? Can you pen with AP? You can't pen my outer deck until 5k. Well, I should be fine. Is there? They want an AP build. What the heck? Confusing. If I go broadside and I get closer slowly, I think that's the play. I have to get closer slowly. Because otherwise I'm not going to have enough accuracy, I'm not going to have enough shells to take them down. I'm down to like, what, 300-ish? I guess I don't have to get too overzealous here now, but still, I'm going through them pretty quick. You know? Get burned death now, please. The flooding it. Prince Consort is not looking very great. He's taking a lot of damage. So has the Monarch and the Bazinga. Ricci is looking decent. I think we're gonna get slowly closer and closer as they slowly start running out of ammo. We're down to 300 shells total. And then, oh yeah, Bazinga's already run out of uh, AP. Monarch's only got 44 AP left. Heard two on the Prince Consort. Uh, I'm expecting the Prince Consort to not be able to survive long enough to use all of it. Yep, that's a big hit. That's the Prince Consort dead, I think. Did I need to go to this one else? Right, Hariji, you're gonna start coming back in now. Prince Consort is dead, perfect. She is sank, and now I will take advantage. Now that's a 2v3. I should have this in the bag, supposedly. I have 270, 60 ish uh, AP shells left on each of my ships. Torpedo detonation. You know, torpedoes, what range did you have? 13.4 kilometers. I don't think I ever got within that range. Well, except at the very start. Congo, I need you to not get obliterated. Also, Hiriji, try not to get obliterated. Maya is not under fire whatsoever. The Bazinga is about to go down, I think, just structural. If she doesn't... Oh, she's not really sinking. And then she got a ton of flooding. Holy jeez, you guys are taking a ton of damage. Please, don't die. The Bazinga is getting hammered from, like, four different directions. It's not looking good for her. Maya is still going pretty much undetected. I think Bazinga's about to eat the dust. Or bite the dust, I should say. Well, you are taking a lot of fire. You need to start angling. I don't want you burned to death now. 
That's the Bazinga dead? Is she firing it now? Yeah, she's firing at the uh, the one ship that hasn't taken any damage so far, which is very nice. The Maya. Okay, I feel confident in a 1v1. Even if my two ships had sank already, I feel confident in a 1v1. I'm down to get closer. I doubt she can do enough small damage to me in the amount of time I can do really big damage. Big hits? Big hits. What can I say, baby? Maya produces, the Congo produces, everyone produces. Gonna hit from multiple sides. It's so over. What can I say? I'm sorry, stealth. Your ship, it was a good idea. They gave me a run for my money. And I will admit, I was a little scared once I saw that fire start building up. And hey, look, I would have, this ship would have surrendered. And this ship would have been halfway to surrender, so you would have killed one of my ships if the new update hadn't come around with the uh, crew thing. But yeah, I think it's a uh, too little, too late. Yeah, it's pretty much over at this point. She doesn't know who to fire at. I don't think she can fire at anybody. It's pretty much over. Well, a couple more good hits. It's pretty much up to the Congo to get some good hits now. Congo, get some good hits. We might just take her down structurally. Oh, that was flooding. He was almost down to structural though. All right, I will take that. That is a very, very good outcome. So we did take heavy damage on the, the, the Hijiri and some medium damage on the Congo. So that's a free three points for Stell, but I will take my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Absolutely, thank you so very much. For those points i do appreciate it and now let's go ahead and i think that's it i yeah that's it yeah, that was a very quick video thanks all for watching i guess uh, let me go ahead and quickly take a look at the congo the congonese is absolute stunning ship as well i just love her so much all right thanks all for watching and i will see you in the next video of shipyard champions please make oh sure to go check out everyone else's videos, not just Stealth's, but everyone else's link down below as well. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next week of Shipyard Champions and the next day of Admiral Olivix.